Hello, my name is Gustav Buch, and I'm a second year level design student at the Game Assembly. This level was an assignment from the course Advanced Level Design. All of the students made one pre-production blueprint about a real location in Malmö. The students then traded blueprints with each other and set off to make the blueprint a reality. The blueprint I got was created by a good friend named Hector Hernquist, who chose one of Malmö's central squares called Stortorget. In Hector's blueprint, his vision were that the player was going to traverse the square while avoiding sniper fire. Hector brought uh, to me a top-down sketch over the playfield and its components. The setting was to be post-apocalyptic. The students were to choose a game engine for ourselves to develop the level in, and I chose to use Unreal Engine 4 because I hadn't used it before. Since I had no prior experience in how the effect system works in Unreal Engine 4, I changed the sniper lasers to spotlights. First of all, I made a quick blocking out of the level using simple primitives, and I made them in different sizes to represent different types of props. I made the scripting so that when a player entered an active trigger box, the player would gain threat, and while not colliding with the trigger box, the threat would decrease. When the threat would get too high, the player would lose. The third day, I focused on creating some props, like the sandbag and the garbage container. I made the garbage container in several pieces so that I could make several variations inside of the engine, using the same mesh. I spent the rest of the week learning about the material system. I also created more variations of the props and replaced the placeholders in the level. I implemented fogs so that the buildings in the distance would just appear as silhouettes. This also improved the atmosphere and feeling of the level. I tried out several types of fog before the end result. I created some more models, which also were in several pieces, to be able to make some variations of it. I also made a couple of different textures for the same model. I added a couple of the engine's example fire effects to the level to get some extra light. I then added some windows to the building around the square to make the environment more varied. I also added this church that is the level's main focal point. The player is also spawned, having a good view of the focal point. While I was experimenting with the fog, the level felt very dark. So I then added in some light posts. I also used this light post to help the player navigate through the level. With regards to the initial top-down that Hector made, I felt that I had to make the gameplay a bit more linear to be able to make it fun and challenging. I also wanted to make the player feel that even though the world has limits to how the player can traverse it, it doesn't just end when it's blocked. I added a lot of props outside of the blockade, as well as lights, to make it look more alive. In the end, I did another iteration upon the game loop script, and added a personal spotlight for each of the trigger boxes on the map. The last thing that I changed was how the threat value was shown to the player. In the earlier versions the player had the threat printed on the screen with a value from 0 to 100. Now the player has a texture drawn upon the HUD that has alpha that is according to the threat value. 
For future iterations, I would like to iterate on the placement of the trigger boxes to get a more finer collision det detection. And the last thing I want is for the player to have a chance to become frustrated by dying when they think they are safe. I would also create and add uh, decals to break up patterning on the walls and the ground. I would also add more variation in levitation of the gameplay and uh, add jumping to the main game mechanics. I would add uh, sound effects, uh, shouts like I think I saw something, uh, and uh, breathing sounds that goes faster the more the player has been into the light. I would do some tweaking on how much threat the player gains by standing in the light. Uh, I would add better transitions into and out of the game with a matinee and also add some voice acting. I would also love to do some more iterations on the lighting. Uh, I think I would also like to add a danger sound effect when a player is hit by a spotlight as well. That's very good feedback. Uh, and uh, I would like to model some more props as well that fits the environment. I would also make it possible for the player to be able to interact with the environment, like uh, open and closing container doors. Oh, and, uh, and, and the trees, I would replace them, because now they are made by a Maya script, uh, made by uh, Matthias Westphal, who is a technical artist at the game assembly. Uh, I also want to do some light post placement iterations. Uh, I'd like to add some broken ones and also add some flickering lights to make a more dynamic environment. Thank you for watching.